Hello everybody, this is Hornet here, and welcome to part number 18 of Let's Glitch Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we, uh, defeated Jabu, or, well, we didn't defeat, we defeated Baronade in Jabu Jabu. Uh, and in this episode, we are going to be, um, uh, doing bottom of the well stuff, right? <laughs> uh, and I just wanted to show you guys again, as usual, no cheats are being used. Nothing like this, uh, use any item in house, or turbo mode, whatever, so unmark all and exit, and, um, one guy uh, in the comments asked uh, if I was going to make a video of what those cheats do uh, because he was wondering about some of them, and actually, I never thought of that, so thank you for that suggestion. I actually think I'll do that as a bonus episode, maybe, so yeah, expect that maybe sometime. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's start off by playing uh, the Prelude, if I can remember what the silly song is. <laughs> for some reason, this song and the Minuet, I can never remember. I think it's because they're like so close in my mind, I guess. I don't know. But for some reason, like, I always have to go to the start screen to figure out what these songs are, because I can never remember them, but whatever. Uh, let's just get going out of the Temple of Time. Temple of all time. Okay, uh, and... It's night? What? Isn't it? Oh, pfft, derp. Hello. Of course it's night. <laughs> I'm so forgetful sometimes. I'm such a derp. Let's just, you know, play this sun song to... to turn it to day. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Uh, so, uh, right, right away here, we're actually going to be, uh, getting the, um, thingy, the, uh, thingy, the, uh, the spooky mask. Um, so yeah, uh, I never found the spooky mask that spooky, even though it's technically a, uh, um, uh, it's supposed to be of a redead. So, I don't know why, but, <laughs> I guess I'm just weird. Uh, but whatever. So now we can go sell that, uh, but first we have to go do something. We have to, go, well, actually we aren't selling that this episode, um, but we've got to go get the Ocarina of Time now. And if you think about it, it's kind of sad. I mean, like, Saria, she, she gave us the fairy Ocarina so that we could remember her, like, so that we could, it was a memento from Saria, so that we could remember her during our travels. And now we're just throwing that Ocarina away and getting the Ocarina of Time to, just to forget about Saria. It's like, we're, we're ditching Saria for Zelda. I mean, really, like, that's no way to treat a childhood friend, although, let's be honest here, Zelda, she's cuter anyways. And I guess a lot richer, because she's a princess, but whatever, uh, <laughs> whatever, cutscene, so let's just skip this. Wow, that is one good arm, Zelda. Uh, I mean, like, you're on a horse, which is traveling in the opposite direction that you threw it, at about, oh, 50 kilometers an hour. I don't know how fast horses travel. Probably, I'd say about 50 kilometers an hour, which is, I don't know, 35 to 40 miles an hour? I don't actually really know. Uh, but, um, so you'd have to throw it at least that fast to make it not still travel the direction you're going. And then you would have to throw it even harder for it to land in the moat, and you were already a considerable distance away from the moat, so you would have had to throw it at at least like 80 kilometers an hour, or like 60 to 70 miles an hour, to, for it to land in the moat there. You have one good arm, Zelda. You should really go into baseball. Overly dramatic close-up shot. And we magically get teleported up. Oh wait, never mind. I'm I'm at the I'm out of the wrong cutscene. <laughs> it's after this cutscene that you get magically teleported. But whatever. Let's just get the ocarina of time here, and skip another cutscene because cut this game is so cutscene heavy. I mean, really, jeez. Whatever. Let's skip this cutscene. And now we get magically teleported out of the water. I am seriously stupid. Okay. <laughs> whatever. Let's just go to the uh, first. Our next stop, uh, we need to get a Skeltula in a hole beneath a tree. To be honest, I wouldn't like to go in a hole beneath a tree. Um, I don't know, it's just not quite my thing, but I guess length might be different, so whatever. So there's a hole right about here. Uh, I'm going to try to get an unnecessary Mega Flip. Oh, I missed the backflip part. <laughs> whatever. Uh, so let's come down here, and there's a Skeltula, so let's get this little guy. Uh, leg. There's so much lag today for some reason. Let's get that in. Backflip epic dramatic pose in midair. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, let's just exit this place and uh, we need to play the Song of Sun. Song of Sun. Uh, that's right. Uh, we need to play it again uh, to turn it to night because we are getting much more Skeltalas. So let's uh, 
play this song and turn it tonight. So yeah. Uh, now we're going to Kakariko Village, um, and we're gonna get <laughs> more Skulltulas. We've been getting a lot of Skulltulas in these past few days, it's weird. Uh, but whatever, this first Skulltulas in a tree, we're gonna have to roll into a tree. Uh, whatever, uh, what is, wh what's wrong with this guy? He looks like, he looks like a zombie. I mean, really, look, he doesn't even have what, pupils, like, what is with that? <laughs> like, it, he is seriously a zombie, like, I never even noticed, he doesn't even have pupils, and nice lag. <laughs> uh, but whatever, that guy is totally a zombie. Alright, but whatever, let's just get going up and get this Skulltula over here. Um, okay. <laughs> and, well, what number does this put us at? Is this number 50? Uh, 51, except I think I'm one off. I'm like one ahead than what I should be. So yeah, I think we're at 50 now. So we're halfway done. Um, but uh, whatever. Um, right here, as you have already seen, we have our first glitch, the Navi Dive. Um, now the thing is that uh, when you're talking to somebody, uh, like on land, um, you uh, the water will not be solid, sort of thing. Like you won't be able to at least swim in it when you're talking to somebody on land. Now, normally this doesn't make any sense because it's like you're talking to somebody on land, so you shouldn't be in the water, but if you trick it into making you fall off as you're talking to somebody, you can actually start falling while talking, and this uh, makes the uh, thing, like, makes the water um, not solid sort of thing. I mean, if you talk to somebody it while you're in the water, then it doesn't work, but it does if you're just playing it like this. So <laughs> basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up to the edge of here. Um, actually, let me turn my hand cam on. All right. Um, so basically uh, when we press B right away here, uh, we're going to actually fall off the edge like this. Um, and uh, that's actually uh, necessary because right after that, we're going to press B again and we're going to do a jump slash land on this uh, ledge here. And then we're going to mash C up and that's going to make us talk to Navi and that's going to make us pull back and fall down and into the, like, into the water. So Hopefully we should start diving, so <laughs> let's try this. So right there. There, and we just fall to the bottom, and we can just get out here uh, to the bottom of the well, which is nice. So we skip, like, a lot of the game. Uh, now, a <laughs> really funny story. Um, I had, a, I had a, fa a failed recording session where I failed that trick. That is one of the easiest tricks in the game, and I failed it. I mean, really, like, now to be fair, it was like a stupid fail, like, I wasn't even, I, like, I did everything right, it just somehow glitched out and stopped, didn't work, but whatever, uh, that's, <laughs> it was really weird, but uh, right here we've got our first key that we need to get, um, now if you don't know the, uh, layout of the, of the bottom of the well very well, then you're gonna have a bad time, that was totally not an intended reference, but I guess that happened, um, <laughs> whatever, um, <laughs> Because, yeah, there are a bunch of invisible walls here, or not invisible walls, but, like, fake walls that uh, you need to go through. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of that. Um, <laughs> but I know the route really well, so if you just follow what I'm doing, kind of, then you should be fine. Um, if you're even doing this, or if you just want to watch, that's fine, too. Um, now, right here, I'm going to try. I don't actually know how to do it. Um, I'm going to try and... Okay, um, maybe one more roll. Uh, cause there's a boomerang trick you can use to, uh, get this key without actually, um, lighting the torches. Uh, I've never actually gotten it. That's mostly because I just don't know how to do it, but, uh, apparently I just can't get it, so I'm just going to do it normally. Aww. <laughs> oh, pfft. Stupid Gib, though. Go home. You're dead. <laughs> okay, so let's light this torch and go grave opening, I guess? Because it's technically not grave digging, because we're not digging for graves. They're already out in the open. Oh, that's why everything's lagging. <laughs> this thing just uh, sort of popped up in my computer that said, updates are ready for your computer. I hate it when that happens. But luckily, I'm on Windows XP, and so it hopefully uh, shouldn't, you know, automatically randomly update like Vista does. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so let's just get out of here. Uh, we have two keys, and we're gonna get some Skulltulas with this lag. Please, stop. Oh my goodness. Uh, whatever, so let's just get going. Um, uh, is there an invisible wall somewhere right here? I, th I feel there is. No, there wasn't for some reason. Maybe it's, oops, on this side. 
Hello, come on, there we go. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna start by opening this door over here. It doesn't really matter which order you open these doors in and do them, it's just, I don't know, I'm doing this one first. Because I can and it's free. Fight me. I'm kidding, okay. <laughs> um, so now let's just kill this Skulltula guy. And, yeah, um, there we go. Got that Skulltula and now I'm going to the other side. Actually, I've got something to do first. I need to lower the water level here. Uh, yeah, the water temple isn't the only place you lower the water level. <laughs> uh, so let's just, uh, play this the Zelda's lullaby here. And lower the water level. So, yeah. Uh, now, I'm actually, I never do this pretty much. Like, I never lower the water level because there is a glitch actually to unload the water. And I'll get into that, uh, in a few episodes. And when I say a few episodes, I mean after the 100% is over, after I do the 100% thing. Um, but yeah, we basically, yeah, we, it's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of difficult, but whatever. I'll do it, I'll, I'll do it later. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. Uh, so yeah, let's just kill these keys. And now, uh, it may look like it's impossible to get over here, but of course, if you play the game, you'll know that there is an invisible wall here. And actually, if you just follow this wall, you won't fall down. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, now let's just kill this guy. Alright, and get his remains. And then let's get going. Alright, uh... And now right here, we're actually going to use Furore's Wind, um... Because we can, and it costs magic. <laughs> I can't say it's free, but... <laughs> oh my goodness, lag! Would you please stop? <sighs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever, uh, so... Yeah, now that that's there, uh, we actually need to... Hello. <laughs> we need to collect the last key of this dungeon, which is right in here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know this dungeon really well, as I've already mentioned, but whatever. Um, and then we're going to go this way and fight our ratedness <laughs> Basically, Dead Hand. Actually, that's exactly what he is, so not basically. Well, maybe basically. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so now let's go and avoid this guy right here. Um... And go up and fight Dead Hands. So yeah. Um. And now let's. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't know what to say again. Um. Oh, I'm gonna store damage right here. Uh. Where are you going, camera? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna store some damage or the four, the the four damage value thing. Uh. Just so that I can take care of him quickly. Hopefully I can one cycle him. It is possible. Um. You just need to crouch stab him twice, and then right after he moves his le uh, left arm twice, do a jump slash at his head, and you should get him. Um, and then again, yes, okay, so I can one cycle him. Um, <laughs> I actually don't usually get a one cycle on him, so this is actually pretty lucky. Um, so there, he's dead. Um, but basically, if you, uh, do a jump slash right after he moves his, uh, left arm right, or, like, he moves, or he moves his left arm out a second time, a little bit after that, uh, you can actually, um, uh, hit him again before he goes underneath. And if you do that twice, uh, you can one cycle him, which is really nice, so... <laughs> he takes a while if you don't one cycle so yeah uh, but we get the lens of truth that i'm not going to be using very much at all <laughs> actually i probably won't even ever be using this uh, i might use it just to be safe but i don't know and now uh one more thing that we need to get is right back here if you didn't know there's actually an invisible chest which contains 200 rupees <laughs> uh but we can only collect a certain amount of those but i just needed to get that so that we're up full rupees and now we're just going to use furore's wind again so let's do that and oh my where am i uh I need to go down to my route. Okay. Uh, last Skulltula. Oh, right. We got the last Skulltula over here um, behind this door uh, that's behind this crawl space right here. Uh, and hopefully we won't run into trouble with the like-like over there because, like, nobody, like, likes like-likes. And I've said that, like, a billion times, but whatever. Uh, so let's just open this door here. And uh, actually, right now I need to switch to Hylian Shield because I don't want to lose my other shield. Um, uh, Hylian Shield's over here. There we go. There, there, there we go. Okay, um, I'm gonna kill these guys, because they are a big pain. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Um, uh, oh, come on! Die! Oh, hearts, yay! Die! Die! Okay. <laughs> And I guess, <laughs> even though right after I said I wasn't really going to be using this, I guess I'm going to use it, because I don't know this uh, holes in this room very well. I know there's one right there, and you can walk against the wall, but then after that, I don't really know. Okay, there we go. So I made it through. No probs. 
Oh, uh, no, I'm gonna kill this guy uh, right away, because he is a big pain. Uh, because he's a like like, and all like likes are big pain. Z pay uh, like likes are all big. Ah, uh, no, 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 there goes my Hawkins shield. <laughs> wow, just go and die. What? You can't block me like that? Uh uh, you don't know. Like, like, go away. You're, go home. And that home is in the underworld. That's right. Okay, so let's just get our Hylian shield back. And then let's do this. Get this skull to off. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, then click the like button. If you didn't, then fine, click the dislike button. Uh, follow my Twitter, follow my Twitch, uh, subscribe, and... Uh, five rubies! <laughs> I don't know why I opened the chest, but uh, whatever. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, and let's just save and quit. But whatever, see you guys. Bye.